2 Kings chapter 21 Manasseh does evil Manasseh was 12 years old when he began his reign, and he ruled for 55 years in Yerushalayim. His mother's name was Hephzibah. He did what was evil from Adonai's perspective, following the disgusting practices of the nations whom Adonai had expelled ahead of the people of Israel. For he rebuilt the high places Hizkiahu his father had destroyed. He erected altars for Baal and made an Asherah, as had Asha of king of Israel, and he worshipped all the army of heaven and served them. He erected altars in the house of Adonai, about which Adonai had said, In Yerushalayim I will put my name. He erected altars for all the army of heaven in the two courtyards of the house of Adonai. He made his son pass through the fire, as a sacrifice. He practiced soothsaying and divination and appointed mediums and persons who used spirit guides. He did much that was evil from Adonai's perspective, thus provoking him to anger. He set the carved image for the Asherah he had made in the house concerning which Adonai had told David and Shlomo his son, in this house and in Yerushalayim, which I have chosen out of all the tribes of Israel. I will put my name forever. Also I will not have the feet of Israel wander any longer out of the land which I gave their ancestors, if only they will take heed to obey every order I have given them and live in accordance with all the Torah that my servant Moshe ordered them to obey. But they did not take heed, and Manasseh misled them into doing even worse things than the nations Adonai had destroyed ahead of the people of Israel. Adonai spoke this message through his servants the prophets. Because Manasseh king of Yehuda has done these disgusting things, because he has done things more wicked than anything the Imori, who were there before him, did, also because with his idols he made Yehuda sin. Therefore here is what Adonai the God of Israel says, I am going to bring such calamity on Yerushalayim and Yehuda that the ears of all who hear of it will tingle. I will measure Yerushalayim with the same measuring cord that I used over Shamran, the same plumb line as for the house of Achav. I will scour Yerushalayim clean just as one scours a plate, scouring it and then turning it upside down. I will abandon the remnant of my heritage, delivering them into the power of their enemies. They will become prey and plunder for all their enemies. Because they have done what is evil from my perspective and have provoked me to anger from the day their ancestors came out of Egypt to this very day. The Nations Under Manasseh Moreover, Manasseh shed so much innocent blood that he flooded Yerushalayim from one end to the other. This in addition to his sin through which he caused Yehuda to sin by doing what is evil from Adonai's perspective. The Death of Manasseh other activities of Manasseh, all his accomplishments and the sin he committed are recorded in the annals of the kings of Yehuda. Then Manasseh slept with his ancestors and was buried in the garden of his own house, the garden of Uzzah, and Amon his son took his place as king. The Reign of Amon over Judah Amon was 22 years old when he began his reign, and he ruled for two years in Yerushalayim. His mother's name was Meshulamai the daughter of Harutz from Yadva. He did what was evil from Adonai's perspective, as had Manasseh his father. He followed entirely the manner of life of his father, serving the idols that his father served and worshipping them. He abandoned Adonai, the god of his ancestors, and did not live in Adonai's way. Ammon's servants conspired against him and put the king to death in his own palace. But the people of the land put to death all those who had been part of the conspiracy against King Ammon. Then the people of the land made Yoshiahu his son king in place of him. Other activities of Ammon and all he accomplished are recorded in the annals of the kings of Yehuda. Ammon was buried in his tomb in the garden of Uzzah and Yoshiahu his son took his place as king. 